guys, what's up? It's Pascal. And Mo. Art of Adventure. And Jenny Springs. Welcome back to our channel. Yes. We are at Jenny Springs, and there's a reason. We want to look at our top five favorite springs to snorkel. And we're going to show you why. We're going to look at things like water clarity, clarity how much area there is that you can swim. True. What's cool to see? Because I'm not yeah. talking about just looking at sand and rocks, right? We want to look at cool here. stuff. Yeah, yeah. And you know you can count on us for some prices and some pro tips. Come on now. Let's go. Let's go. Number five, Wakiva Springs in Apopka, Florida. I really do yeah. geek out on this spring. It has a lot to offer. As a second magnitude spring with two spring vents, it pumps out 45 million gallons of water each day. The high water volume helps keep this spring crystal clear, perfect for swimming and snorkeling. As far as swimming areas go, this one's pretty big. The pool is about 150 feet by 150 feet. The average depth is just four feet, great for beginner snorkelers. The spring vents are where I find a nice challenge. The big vent is 35 feet long and looks like a giant crack in the earth. It's close to 15 feet deep. And with the water pressure, it can be tough to swim to the bottom. The second spring vent looks like a small cave opening on one side of the pool. It sits only a few feet high but stretches about 15 feet wide. Wakiva Springs definitely fits my criteria for clarity, size, and cool things to see underwater. Here are a few pro tips for you. Wakiva Springs often reaches capacity in the summer months. I suggest you arrive early. The fall is my favorite season for spring hopping. The water stays 72 degrees year round. There are no lifeguards at Wakaiva, so swim at your own risk. It costs between four and six dollars per car, depending on how many people you have with you. And if you're looking for other adventures here, there are trails for hiking and biking. Plus you can paddle the Wakaiva River. Leash pets are allowed in the park, but not in the swimming area. Number four, salt springs in the Ocala National Forest. Salt is one of the most unique springs in the whole state of Florida. It looks so cool the way the limestone punches up through the sand. The irregular contours really stand out when you look at the spring from above. From below though, salt spring opens up a whole new world to the snorkeler. The maze of limestone can direct you through depths anywhere from 2 feet to 20 feet. There are all kinds of critters that hang out. My favorite are the blue crabs. They like to chill in the cracks where the water's a bit deeper. This swimming area is big too, 190 feet by 130 feet. Like Wakaiva, Salt Springs is a second magnitude spring, pumping out 53 million gallons of water a day. It's a bit shallow, so visibility can suffer if water levels on Lake George are high. The presence of potassium, magnesium, and sodium make the water a little salty. Here are some pro tips for salt springs. Make sure you put the right address in your GPS. You want to head to Salt Springs Recreation Area. If you put Salt Springs Campground, it's going to take you to the wrong place. Summer months are busy, so arrive early. Other activities include camping, hiking, as well as paddling and fishing on Lake George. It costs six bucks per car to enter. Dogs are allowed as long as they're on a leash and stay out of the spring. Number three, Volusia Blue Spring in Orange City. Oh, I love Blue Spring State Park for so many reasons. There are a lot of options for snorkelers and so much to see. First, let's head to the spring head itself. Volusia Blue Spring is a first magnitude spring that pumps out more than 100 million gallons of water each day. That also means there's a strong current you'll have to swim against, but it's worth it. The opening to the spring vent is just one of those things you have to see in person. 
it looks unassuming, you know, a hole in the ground with a few logs stretched across it. But the closer you get, the more you realize this is one of Earth's true hidden gems. You can see why this is a popular spot for freedivers and scuba divers. It's actually the entrance to a deep cave system. The swimming area at the spring head is 135 feet by 100 feet, and it's surrounded by steep banks. Snorkelers can also check out the scenery in the spring run that leads to the St. Johns River. It's not very long, but there is plenty to see if you take your time. All kinds of fish. Some of them are huge. You can find turtles, and my favorite, manatees. As a snorkeler, you're not allowed to chase, swim after, or even touch the manatees. But if you're swimming and they're swimming the same direction, well, let's just say it can be the experience of a lifetime. Look at that little guy. The only reason Blue Springs State Park is not higher on my list of snorkel spots is because it's close to swimmers and snorkelers five months out of the year. That leads me to my pro tips for Volusia Blue Spring. The park itself is open year round, but the spring and the spring run are only open from April through October. This waterway serves as a manatee refuge in the winter. You can still go and check them out, yet just can't get in the water. In the summer months, Blue Spring State Park will reach capacity early. Be in line at 8 a.m. at the latest. Brownouts are infrequent, so visibility is usually pretty good. It costs between four and six dollars to enter, depending on how many people are in your car. Other activities include camping, hiking, biking, paddling, and tubing. The leash dogs are allowed at the campground and some of the trails. Number two, Jenny Springs in High Springs, Florida. Jenny Springs, baby. Here we go. There are a lot of pros and only a few cons when it comes to Jenny. Let's go ahead and get the cons out of the way. Jenny Springs is very, very popular. Expect big crowds, especially on the weekends. It's private and more expensive than most springs. Up to 20 bucks a person depending on the time of year. And let's just say there's a bit of a party atmosphere. That may be a good thing for you, and that's cool too. But those are the three reasons that Jenny is number two and not number one on my list of best springs to snorkel. Now, let's talk about all the reasons it does rank so high on my list. First, there are seven different springs on the property. So if one is too crowded for your taste, you can always walk over to a different spring and snorkel there. The swim areas range anywhere from just a few feet to as deep as 20 feet. Of course, scuba divers can go much deeper into the caverns and caves. Combine the seven springs at Jenny pump out close to 200 million gallons of water every day. And you better believe each spring has its own personality. There's a swim through at the main spring, a deep crevasse at Dogwood and Little Devil, almost a perfect circle carved out with steep walls at Devil's Eye. When the sun hits it just right, this spring is so beautiful. The Santa Fe's tannic water that trickles over Devil's Ear makes for a magical view when the sun is overhead. And then there are spots like July Spring which is a quick swimmer float across the Santa Fe. This is my new spring face. They check so many boxes when it comes to cool stuff to see underwater and total swim area. Here are a few pro tips for Jenny Springs. Go in the off season. It's about $5 cheaper per person and way less crowded. Make sure you carve out some time to float the Santa Fe on a tube it's a good way to visit some of the other springs in the area. Plus, you can always find something cool like a rope swing yeah. along the way. Yeah. <laughs> There's a free air fill station near the general store, 
to save your lungs. The restaurant on the property is actually pretty good. Personally, I'm a fan of bringing my own grill, but you can also find some near the campsites. No pets are allowed on the property. Okay, here it is guys. Number one, Alexander Springs in the Ocala National Forest. This first magnitude spring is stunning. It stays incredibly clear all year long. The swimming area is massive, 300 feet by 250 feet. Most of it's shallow with a white sand bottom, which is great for kids. As a snorkeler, I always seem to gravitate towards the exposed limestone around the spring bend. It sits about 25 feet deep and pumps out 60 million gallons of water a day. This is another spot where you can really test your deep dives. It's tough swimming down against the current and there are all kinds of little nooks and crannies to check out. Alexander tops my list for several reasons. Visibility underwater is amazing. On any given day, you can see as far as 100 feet or more. There is a huge swimming area and the different depths make it easy for snorkelers of all ages and abilities. And as far as cool stuff to see, who says you need to go to Wikiwachi for a mermaid show? No matter how crowded it is, we always seem to find a chill spot near the water. And when you're finished snorkeling, you can take a canoe or kayak for a paddle. Here are some pro tips for Alexander Springs. It's first come, first serve. Reservations are only for campers. It costs $8 a person during the week and $11 per person on the weekend. I'm a fan of weekdays. The spring opens daily at 8 a.m. You should get there by then, especially in the summer months. Pack a picnic. There's nowhere to buy real food on the property. Dogs are allowed at the campground, but not down by the water. A couple friendly reminders for you. It's Florida and we do have storms, so it's always a good idea to call ahead and make sure the spring is open and the amenities you want are available. If you see some trash, do us all a solid and pick it up or take it with you. Here's another pro tip. Instead of taking your car keys with you in the water, use a lockbox to stash them at the car instead. People lose their keys all the time. You do not want to be stranded. If you're interested in that lockbox or any of the gear we use in these videos, you can find the information in the description below. How we do guys? Did we miss one of your favorite snorkeling springs? Let us know, but we'll check it out. Please let us know in the comments below. Cause there's definitely still some more adventuring that we have to do out there. If, Damn you, it. if you found this video helpful, hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe, you're already oh there. We you know you should already be subscribed already. Right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. This place is a party. We want it is, if you haven't been able to tell. We want our experiences to help make your next adventure epic. Yes, that's absolutely true. That's what Art of Adventure is all about. That's facts. All that's left for you to do, go get it, y'all. Get They're Come getting on. it. Go get it. Keep going to get it. Keep going to get it. Keep going to get it. Walk over, go get it again. And then go get it again.